Welcome back to my video series on money mindset. And today is video number two. At the end of this um, video, you'll see a playlist for everything that's been made. So if you're catching us later, um, you're probably going to be beyond that. Anyway, we're going to talk about desire today. Does This is, in my opinion, the most important video of all the concepts that have to do with money mindset, in my opinion. I'm going to give you some steps today that you can take that are going to help you with with the change in your money mindset um this also works in everything else i personally of course it's the beginning of the year and i always make goals i don't always write them down a lot of times i make the goals and and i've achieved a lot of them i'm, I'm not going to say i haven't but i think it takes it to another level when you write them down so what i've done with this concept that i'm teaching you today about money i'm also using um for my physical life my spiritual and character um but i'm using these same steps in all those other areas so if you're struggling with maybe be, being a better mom or better wife or you know even at, at your job with your with your attitude these are this will work um with that but today we're going to focus on money mindset and, and our topic is desire and you're like well i want it i have desire but we're going to take it to another level like i said we're going to take it out of your head and put it down on paper and i'm going to show you how to do that now at the end of the video I do have Napoleon Hill, um, a seven minute video of him talking. And I just think listening to him, he's saying some things that I'm not saying here, but he wrote the book, Think and Grow Rich, and I've got the link down below, but he takes it to another level as well and tells his story. So yes, he's an older person and he's not here anymore, but we need to listen to the, the, the words of the wise, right? The wisdom from an older person who's done it and been successful with it. So make sure you stick around. It is about seven minutes and I'm not even going to talk at the end. I'm not going to say thank you. Goodbye. We're just going to listen to him and be done. And there will be a playlist at the end. Okay. So won't waste your time. So one of the, one of the statements that he has made is what the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. So I, I really started thinking about this and not that I'm going into politics. Okay. This has nothing to do with that, but I want to use the politics in America right now. Um, what's going on. If you notice, there's a big divide. There's people who are liberal, people are conservative and they can't even talk anymore. They can't even see the other person's point of view. And I think that they've taken their belief in their mind to such a, a, a level that they can't even have an open mind about something else. And it's kind of like what we're talking about today with your desire, your desire to achieve a certain income or achieve a certain lifestyle. You have to believe it like that, where you, like I talked about last week, you're not going to listen to any naysayers. You're going to believe it. You're going to internalize it and you're going to follow these steps. So I couldn't think of anything except that because, you know, if you're on one side or the other and you've tried to talk to people, they just don't want to hear it and they want to believe what they believe and they really believe it. And that's the point that I'm trying to make. I'm not trying to say anybody's right or wrong, but they believe what they believe. And that's what you're going to do. So one of the first things that I want you to do is uh, follow these six steps. Okay. The first step is I want you to get a notebook and this is mine here. I write in it. I've got tabs and all kinds of things. I want you to write down what your financial goal is. I wrote down a monthly income is how I did it. Now you might do it differently. You might want a certain job or a certain uh, airplane or a car or something, whatever it is. I just wanted a certain income. I'm looking at my retirement. I've talked about that before. And when I retire, I want to be making an income of $40,000 a month. Now, obviously expenses will be taken out of that and taxes and things, but that's my gross that I have written down that I want to come in. Now, I have it written down and I will achieve that by the time I retire. Number two, now this one's important. What are you going to give back? You can't just sit here and ask the universe for this money and believe you're going to get it and not give back. What are you going to do to give back? Now, I have chosen 
um, 10% because that's what we tithe anyway. But this will be in a separate account. It already is. I'm already working on it, obviously. But this is our business account. And we give 10% and I will put down the organization I give to. It's actually in Cleveland, Ohio. And what they do is they have a house and girls who get pregnant between 14 and 22 don't know what to do, don't have any resources, nobody to help them are welcome to come live there for up to three years. And they help them graduate. They help them get a job. They help teach them how to take care of their baby. And it is phenomenal what these people are doing. Um, of course, my goal too some days to help them build more houses when I get to that income. But I give 10% um, every month and I have a minimum that I give if I don't reach the monthly goal, which I've, I've had no problem doing. So they get a certain amount that 10%. And sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, that check's getting big, but 10% is 10%. All right. And so you find, and, and here's the kicker on number two. I want you to start giving now. I want you to have a heart that gives. We can sit here and say, I want money, 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 money. But if it has no purpose and you have no mission, you don't have any, um, any sense of giving to help others, I, I don't think that your mindset will be in the right place. We don't just want money to be greedy. We want it so that we can do things and make a change in the world. And yes, live comfortably, but you also want to make leave a legacy and make a change. And that's what a lot of rich people have done. And that's where we want to go with this. Number three, write a date. Now, again, I'm looking at retirement. I have a certain date that I want this all to be accomplished. And then I'll go forward from there. But what is the date where you want this to happen? Now you might go, this is crazy. It is. But what the mind can conceive, you will be able to achieve. And you have to believe it. It's about your belief system. And I want to give you an example real quick, since we're talking about that. We're, we're on number three. We'll go further. There's only six. Um, Think of yourself, and I know I've done this. Have you ever lost weight? And um, let's say you've lost 50 pounds or 60 pounds. I, about six years ago, lost 45 pounds. And I remember walking around thinking, I'm still heavy. I'm still that heavier person that I was trying not to be, if that makes sense. I would even look in the mirror. And now I've gained a little bit. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I wasn't fat. But the problem is I still saw that body that I didn't want to see and I didn't believe what was actually before my eyes. So your mind is very powerful is what I'm trying to say. You have to believe what you're writing down and believe this is your goal and it's going to happen, okay? So that, that was the best example I could share. I know a lot of people that, I knew a lady once that lost 80 pounds and she shared that and I go, how, how can that be? I mean, she lost a whole person and she said, I'm not even comfortable because every time I look in the mirror, I see that bigger person. And she did, she turned around. I want you to come up with a specific plan. Now, part of mine is we have, I have seven income streams that I'm working on. And one is not my job that I have right now. That is not part of my retirement. So I don't put that in my plan. But one of them is my husband and I are in, we have rentals and we have decided to switch from monthly rentals to short-term rentals like that you get on VRBO and things like that. So we are in the process of building our first one. And I've talked about it before. We're actually building it on our property because it, it's going to be an overflow for when the kids come visit. But we have a specific plan of when that will be done, when the next one will be built. What are I mean, it's a specific plan. And again, sometimes he looks at it and goes, you're crazy. But you have to write it down. So start writing it down and, you know, keep your notebook, all these um, points divided so that you can keep on adding to it. Obviously, once you achieve one goal, there will be more goals to achieve. Number five is very, very detailed as well. Where is that money coming from? I mean, okay, you're going to go buy a jet, but how are you going to do that? Be specific. What I did is I wrote down my seven streams of income and some of them are things like my youtube channel um short-term i'll just read them short-term rentals um etsy i make money from there and then affiliate marketing and then i have a business called simply schooled where i'm working with another teacher and we actually provide a consulting business that we're trying to build up for when we retire so anyway seven streams of income what are you going to do to have that money come in and be specific, write them down. And then next to that, I wrote how much money is going to come in from each one. Now that can change as you go. Maybe I underestimated myself in one area and said, you know, I'm only going to make a thousand doing this. And maybe I started making 3000 a month. So I can adjust that. I can always go over the 40,000. It doesn't have to stay there, but that is a very, very important step. So definitely write that down. And then number six, 
I want you to go up to number one where you have your fixed income. And I want you to turn that into a statement of belief. Like I will earn $40,000 a month by the time I'm certain age, certain year, certain date. And I want you to read that statement every morning, every night. You've got it written down and make a positive statement. You write it down in a very positive way and read it every single day, okay? Now, there are other statements that I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video series that you need to be doing too because it's all about what you have up here and what you believe. Now, those are your six steps, okay, to get you started. Very, very important. If you didn't watch last week's video, catch it because I'm gonna be building on this to help you get into that right mindset. And like I said, you're watching me do this with you because I've always believed in myself that I could do things, but I never really wrote them down so specifically. I never read the statements of belief to really get it into my mind because, um, so so I, I'm just thinking that this is gonna take everything to a higher level and not just those um, things here and there that I've achieved. I wanna bring it together as a whole package, if that makes sense. Um, and maybe because I'm older and I'm looking at, you know, what's my retirement going to look like my life in, in, you know, those last 20 or 30 years. And I just wanted to be more specific. So now you're going to watch a video of Napoleon Hill and you're going to listen to him for seven minutes. Please, please. Pl I'm not just saying this so you watch my video. It's not even me. I'm sharing him. Um, but please listen to it because I think it will really inspire you and get you to take these next steps. And then I'll see you next week and we'll go to step video three and we'll take it a little bit deeper. You have a blessed day. Watch Napoleon Hill right now. Okay, there's no ifs or buts, keep going. And uh, I'll see you next week. My search led me to the study of the spiritual forces with which all of us are blessed. And it was in this field that I came upon a clue which has enabled me to help millions of people to find their earthly destinies. I want to describe my discovery in the simplest terms possible, because it will reveal to you why it is true that whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve, regardless of how many times you may have failed in the past or how lofty your aims and hopes may be. I caught my first fleeting glimpse of the profound law which provides the means by which we may choose our own purpose in life and attain it while I was being coached by Andrew Carnegie during the organization of the science of success philosophy. I had just finished telling Mr. Carnegie that I feared he had uh, chosen the wrong person to give the world the first practical philosophy of personal success because of my youth, my lack of education, and my lack of finances. Well, at this point, Mr. Carnegie delivered a lecture that I shall never forget because it changed my entire life and paved the way for my helping to change the lives of millions of people, some of them not yet born. Let me call your attention to a great power which is under your control, said Mr. Carnegie, a power which is greater than poverty, greater than the lack of education, greater than all of your fears and superstitions combined. It is the power to take possession of your own mind and direct it to whatever ends you may desire. This profound power, Mr. Carnegie continued, is the gift of the Creator, and it must have been considered the greatest of all of his gifts to man, because it is the only thing over which man has the complete and unchallengeable right of control and direction. When you speak of your poverty and lack of education, Mr. Carnegie explained, you are simply directing your mind power to attract these undesirable circumstances because it is true that whatever your mind feeds upon, your mind attracts to you. Now you see why it is important that you recognize that all success begins with definiteness of purpose, with a clear picture in your mind of precisely what you want from life. Uh, then Mr. Carnegie continued his speech with a description of a great universal truth which made such an impact upon my mind that I began then and there to give myself a new outlook on life and I set up for myself a goal so far above my previous achievements that it shocked my friends and relatives when they heard about it. Everyone, said Mr. Carnegie, comes to the earth plane blessed with the privilege of controlling his mind power and directing it to whatever ends he may choose. But, he continued, everyone brings over with him at birth 
the equivalent of two sealed envelopes, one of which is clearly labeled the riches you may enjoy if you take possession of your own mind and direct it to ends of your own choice. And the other is labeled the penalties you must pay if you neglect to take possession of your mind and direct it. And now let me reveal to you, said Mr. Carnegie, the contents of those two sealed envelopes. In the one labeled riches is uh, this list of blessings. One, sound health. Two, peace of mind. Three, a labor of love of your own choice. Four, freedom from fear and worry. Five, a positive mental attitude. Six, material riches of your own choice and quantity. In the sealed envelope labeled penalties, Mr. Carnegie continued, is this list of the prices one must pay for neglecting to take possession of his own mind. One, ill health. Two, fear and worry. Three, indecision and doubt. Four, frustration and discouragement throughout life. Five, poverty and want. Six, and a whole flock of evils consisting of envy, greed, jealousy, anger, hatred, and superstition. Now, my mission in life is to help you and everyone who needs my help to open up and use the contents of the sealed envelope labeled riches. And the starting point from which you must take off if you wish to write your own ticket from here on out for the remainder of your life, I will describe for you in these simple instructions. One, procure a neat pocket-sized a notebook, or something on the order of this one here, loose leaf affair. And on uh, page one, write down a clear description of your major desire in life, the one circumstance or position or thing which you will be willing to accept as your idea of success. And remember before you begin writing that your only limitations are those which you set up in your own mind or permit others to set up for you. And two, on page two of your notebook, write down a clear statement of precisely what you intend to give in return for that which you desire from life. And then start in right where you stand now to begin giving. And three, memorize both of your statements, what you desire and what you intend to give in return for it. And repeat them at least a dozen times daily. And always end your statements with this expression of gratitude for the blessings with which you were gifted at birth. I ask not, O oh divine providence, for more riches, but more wisdom with which to accept and use wisely the riches I received at birth in the form of the power to control and direct my mind to whatever ends I desire. If you are not too successful or self-satisfied to accept and express this profound prayer, if you accept it and express it in the same spirit of humble sincerity in which I pass it on to you, a new and a better world will reveal itself to you, a world in which you will see reflected the circumstances and the things which you yourself have created. And now let me close this, our first visit, with my favorite expression of gratitude. O oh, divine providence, I ask not for more riches, but more wisdom with which to make wiser use of the riches you gave me at birth, consisting in the power to control and direct my own mind to whatever ends I desire. 